Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Darya Maichuk, and I am head of customer service at Richard's advertising platform. Not to boast, I have at least five years of experience in affiliate marketing. To be honest, I worked with all verticals and know how to help clients to actually make profit. Today, we also have an honorable guest, Chadomir Dragicevic from Coinis. Coinis is a CPA network that has its own traffic and media buying team with at least 10 years of experience running different verticals and types of traffic. These guys also have great experience in running antivirus ads. Hey, Chadomir, it is great pleasure to have you here. Can you please tell us a bit more about your experience on this vertical? Hello, everyone. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys tonight. And we here at Coinis, we have been working for uh, a long period of time with push notifications. And we have experience on both the supply side, where we acquire, of course, new users, and on both on the demand side, where we work with a lot of advertisers on a daily basis. And, of course, with our own experienced media buying team that has been running uh, all sorts of different verticals on different types of traffic. Of course, Coin, Coin is, has been extremely successful in running AV as its own vertical on push. So I think we have uh, we have a lot of interesting tips and tricks on how to run successfully an AV campaign on push traffic. Yeah, thank you a lot that you join us today. I really hope that you will give uh, really necessary and useful information for our viewers. So, as I represent WeChat's network, I would really like to share a couple of facts about us uh, before we get down to the main part. Uh, this will help you to have a better understanding of our features and overall activity. WeChat is an advertising network that provides different kinds of traffic for affiliate marketers. Today, we have five traffic types to offer. They are Push ads, this is our main format, and we actually started with it back in 2018. There are two more variants of push ads, and we actually, as it can be found at Rich Ads, it is calendar push and in page push. They allow to cover iOS audiences, unlike classic push ads. Furthermore, we have pops and direct click ads at our platform. Direct click is a relatively new but profitable format, highly recommended to test it. What is more, we have 5 billion ad impressions a day and give our affiliates different tools for optimization. This information is also relevant to our today's topic, antivirus niche. I can say that antiviruses on push ads show the most profitable results. So today we will discuss how to make profits from antiviruses exactly on push ads. Let me share the most converting vertical at Richards. Actually, there is a great bunch of them. Antivirus, VPN and utilities, gambling, betting, crypto, dating, sweepstakes, and Nutra. Those are the niches that convert well for all the formats. Pay attention to them if you look for something really profitable to launch at Richards. As you know, today we are going to focus on antivirus vertical. If there is any niche that will be stable for eternity, it is the antivirus one. Why? Uh, well, even the pandemic didn't manage to lower the results of marketers that promoted such ads. The reason is quite obvious. Many companies allowed their employees to work remotely and the protection of their devices became not just a necessity, but a must. Actually, the stats show that the risk of uh, cybersecurity increased by 600% since the pandemic started. It is a bad news for users, but a golden niche for marketers who promote antivirus. All in all, we all use desktops, mobiles and tablets in our daily life and no one is actually safe from malicious viruses and attacks. That's why this vertical will always be on the go. Now you realize why the antivirus niche is the one you should actually pay attention to. Let's focus on promoting it with push ads and getting most of it. Well, our plan for the webinar is to cover all the aspects to benefit from this vertical. Let's find out what we have for you today. First of all, 
me and our guest Chadomi will share insights on antivirus vertical and have an overview of it. Then we will both discuss the most converting geos and offers. Furthermore, tips on choosing an offer will be covered. Stay tuned. After that, we will look uh, at the examples of creatives with highest CTR and discuss landing pages creation. What is more, we will tell you all about prom promoting antivirus ads on push, especially we will focus on setting up a successful campaign. Then we are going to discuss antiviruses campaigns optimization. Finally, the test as part of the webinar will be discussed real case studies. In the end, we will answer the most burning questions during the Q&A session. Please write your questions in our chat during the webinar and mark who you want to answer them. Please note, after the webinar, you can watch it once again on YouTube. We will send you a link via email. What will you get in the email? They will find the link to the recording and we will send you the presentation. The email will contain the list of bonuses from both sides and contacts of the speakers, if you have some questions to ask. Once again, please type your questions in our chat and mark who you want to answer them. Before we give in the floor to our honorable expert, I'd like to highlight how perspective the antivirus vertical is. Basically, I want to tell you more about the reasons while people actually need the antiviruses. Understanding the needs will help you to promote such offers better. Computer viruses are ubiquitous. They can get into any device even without downloading them, just by clicking on a link. Downloading any free apps actually puts a user at risk. This especially concerns any programs aimed at entertainment. The harm is unpredictable. Sometimes a virus can be just nasty and annoying, but there is malware that can destroy all the data on your laptop. The threat may concern personal data or finances. Now a lot of people store their passports, credit card information, and other sensitive data in their devices. So it is crucial to have strong protection. Those are just main facts that I wanted to point out. I believe our expert Chadami has more fruitful information to share. Chadami, would you mind sharing your opinion on antivirus vertical in general? Uh, thank you, Daria. So overall, uh, we have seen a huge and rapid growth of the entire antivirus market in the past years. One of the reasons, of course, behind it is, as you mentioned previously, is the corona and everything that corona brought with it. So a lot of people were working from home and all of the activities that they were usually doing outside of the house were being transferred on the internet and the web. So this, of course, brought a lot of attention, which brought a lot of malware attacks and the web has become a, a, a super unsafe place in the past years. This has, of course, allowed the antivirus market to develop. And overall, there was an estimation that it's worth more than 37 billion last year and with uh, a rapid growth coming in the next years. Some interesting facts about the antivirus market is that more than 80% of desktop and laptop users have AV or they had an AV at one point at their computers. This is an interesting fact because uh, by mentioning also mobile devices, we see that there is a lot of room to grow in the future when it comes to mobile devices, since we have only around 1.3 million uh, billion mobile devices that have AVs on the, in the whole world while of course we know that the number of mobile devices is a lot is, is a lot is a lot bigger so this of course gives us uh, another maybe topic in another direction to look because mostly we connect AVs with desktop and laptops but in the future I think mobile market can also be explored and developed for all countries. One interesting fact, of course, due to the unsafety of the web and everything that people are leaving traces all over the web when they are buying stuff, uh, all type of data that they are leaving, it is expected that 40% uh, of people without antiviruses are open to install it in the next six months due to the rising threats on the web market. So overall, I see a potential and we see a huge potential on the mobile devices market, but of course the desktop and the laptop market will also keep growing since the threats and this web is becoming even more and more unsafe every single day. 
Yeah, thank you so much. You gave us a lot of uh, useful facts and I totally agree with you. And uh, now let's get down to choosing the offers for antivirus vertical. Uh, from my experience, I can call your attention to several points that are really crucial to know. Uh, choose trusted and reputable companies. It would be great if those are direct advertisers, so the payouts are bigger. Check out the available features. The analysis of the market is vital in any niche, especially for antiviruses. Research the trend in niches and then learn about the compatibility with different OS devices, as well as get to know about protection from various spyware and viruses. Make sure the installment and usage processes are as easy as possible. Users should not have any issues during exploitation of program. It shall be intuitively understandable. Otherwise, they wouldn't make the purchase. Pay attention to prices and discounts. The antivirus should be affordable, not too uh, cheap or too expensive. Track sales and discounts to use them when promoting ads. It will serve as an additional trick to lure more users. Those are just be the basics of selecting an offer. Use them as a checklist, not a direct instruction to follow. When it comes to launching antiviruses at ReChats, we can see several brands that show the greatest results from year to year. Those are Norton, McAfee, and Avira. Chairman, please share some insight from your side. What do you think about the importance of human behavior with AV offers? Uh, thank you. So, it, in our opinion, it doesn't matter if we are analyzing AVs as a certain vertical, but when an advertiser is running any type of offer, AV, as you mentioned, gambling, sweeps, or any type of offers, it is important for every advertiser to understand their own audience, to understand their needs and their behavior, of course, um, to understand that there is different behavior, different patterns from people coming from different geos. Of course, there is the cultural element over there also. So let's say when we are running AV offers, we have to understand what would be the incentive of a certain user that's sitting behind a computer or a mobile that could actually, that would uh, make them or that would motivate them to buy or purchase a certain product or certain offer that we are offering. In those terms, I think uh, that uh, AVs should be promoted like for protection purposes and in the context of safe browsing, protection from all malware attacks, optimization of your PC and data protection. So it's super important that we understand who is our audience, how to approach the audience and how to motivate them and give them incentives in order for them to find our offers attractive and find our offers affordable and why do they need to purchase those offers. Also, important, uh, important things about uh, when choosing an offer is also to have the, uh, to have the legal aspect of the... Uh, can we move it to... Sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, when choosing the best offer, it's important also to look for the offers with the best payouts, with direct deals, and of course, with transparent cooperation. The legal aspect is always, of course, important for every offer that uh, we are running in the industry. And maybe the most important is to understand the entire flow of the offer and all of the requirements that the advertiser have from our own side. So it's either going to be what's the conversion, what are the limits, what's happening during uninstalls or similar thing if the offer is CPA, CPL, CPI. So it's important to have, uh, to have a good understanding on, on what is the payout how, and what is the legal aspects and what is expected from you as somebody who is running a certain campaign to bring to the advertiser in order to, of course, profit at the end of the day. When it comes to the best geos that work for antiviruses, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can target mostly like tier one geos that work absolutely the best, like United States, Canada, and United Kingdom. Of course, there is always the European market with Germany, France, and Netherlands highlighted, and a lot of geos in Latin America, like Brazil, Argentina, and Chile, with also some developed countries like Japan and Australia. It's important to mention that we have uh, been running campaigns worldwide, but these are some of the uh, countries that we uh, find that have the most volumes and that have the best, best, of course, rates and the most users that are coming from actually these, these countries and these regions. 
Um, many thanks for this information. It was fascinating to hear it. And let's dive deeper into the best geos for antiviruses. Let's have a look at the slide. On the left graph, you can see the countries with the highest percentage of infected computers. China, Tokyo, and Taiwan have nearly half of machines containing some uh, form of malware. However, on the right graph, you can see the Nordic nations and Japan that have the lowest rates of malware infections globally, where only around 20% of machines are infected. What does it mean for affiliate marketers? The high percentage of protection doesn't mean that you can't find clients there. As Chadami previously said, Japan is good job for launching antiviruses because people in this country take care of their safety and want to protect themselves. The same scene it with all geos from the right graph. And on the other hand, the countries from the left graph are good because you can find a lot of potential clients. Think about it. Now I'd like to share our insights and stats of the best geos for antivirus at ReChats. Chadami, I fully agree with you. We also see the same trends. I mean that uh, generally tier one countries convert best, especially Europe and the USA. And the most popular and converting ones are Canada, the USA, Great Britain, Germany, Italy, France, Spain, Japan, and Australia, New Zealand. No doubt that competition is high for such geos, but the payouts for the vertical are huge, so don't hesitate to try. So this is as a campus you can launch at ReChats and try to make profit there. As far as antiviruses is one of the top vertical at ReChats, you can find the most relevant information about geos to launch in our monthly reports. Right now you can see the example in the chat. It is high time to speak about creatives and landing pages for antiviruses. There are many approaches to converting creatives for antivirus vertical. We will just look into the most time-proof yet high-quality ones. Use system warnings. They actually attract users' attention and make them think about potential viruses. Try tags like this time to renew antivirus or your device needs protection. Apply moderate aggression. Make sure your text is not too scary, but can convince a potential client to double check his system and think about the actual purchase of antivirus. Use wording like potential or possible threat, as well as notifications like uh, the system is vulnerable. Highlight the discount. An uh, eternal recommendation is to use sales and bonuses you can even season them with time limitation and numbers like um, only today for new users only or exclusive for uh, 50 uh, percent discounts and point out the benefits look deeper into the needs of your audience what do they want from an antivirus correct they want to feel safe and protect the personal data as simple as that just specified in the text I would also like to share an insight here. Always try at least five or 10 creatives per campaign to test different approaches. Chadami, please tell us what do you think about creatives for antiviruses? So I think creatives are, and of course, landing pages are super important when we are running a certain offer and certain campaign because creatives, of course, are like a door that leads to your final landing page where a customer can of course, convert and purchase a certain antivirus, but of course, landing pages are important as an incentive and the motivation, of course, for, again, the customer to actually purchase and to uh, get a conversion from a certain, for, for a certain AV offer. But what one thing that I would point out is that converting creatives landing pages usually also depend on the uh, type of compliance that every single ad network has. So maybe for some, of course, we have extremely clean creatives that have to be. For some, we can, of course, apply maybe some moderate, uh, moderate, uh, aggressive, aggressive creatives. But uh, I would like to point out that it's also not acceptable anywhere to have extremely aggressive creatives and of course final landing pages because this can of course be a bad not only influence and a bad way to get customers to buy and purchase the offers but of course it can have bad influence at the end of the day for the av companies itself so like i said it's important to be creative and to be innovative but of course into the some 
some extent of uh, moderate aggression. So in this next slide, I have uh, we have put some uh, like clean creatives and clean landing pages that we have for our own offers that we have been running. So as you can see, and as Daria mentioned, it's extremely important to always uh, be innovative and always rotate creative. So five to 10 creatives is uh, probably the perfect number. But of course, if you find the best working creatives, don't stop, but continue to test and continue to uh, put different creatives because maybe some creatives will even work better or in rotation, maybe for some different sources or for some different audience, some different type and different design of creatives work the best. Also, in our experience, uh, one important thing to look at when creating creatives, like converting creatives and formulas, is also operating systems where we are running the creatives and, of course, the language of the audience where we are coming. So on the next slide, you can see that we have a uh, different type of creative uh, for uh, like mobile devices and different type of creatives for uh, desktop devices. This has proven to be important in order for to have to have converting creatives is to have a different type of designs for both mobile and desktop. One of the uh, most important tips for running successfully creatives on push ads is to, as I said previously, understand your audience. And in this case, you can see a creative in a different language than in an English one. So when we have audiences that we are placing our offers through push ads for friends or for other uh, speaking uh, uh, for other speaking countries other than english it's highly recommended and it's more converting to put the creatives in the language of the native speaker that is uh, getting the ads uh, through push so this is extremely important and with many a b tests has proven to be uh, the key to have extremely high converting creatives to have uh, creatives in the native language of course of the audience that you're targeting also, you can see uh, one clear landing page that we have put. So this is a, the this is an entire flow from the creative side to the offer. So this, of course, landing page changes depending on the uh, language of the native user that's visiting this landing page. And this is a, an example of a completely clean AV offer that has been run for a long period of time, absolutely successfully, where we, of course, rotate as many creatives as possible and where we focus on from which devices people are coming and from which countries in order to get the best possible uh, conversion rates and, of course, CTRs. So these are our tips when it comes to converting creatives and uh, landing pages. Yeah, I totally agree with you that you need to test uh, different approaches as uh, you don't know what will work for you. Um, so uh, now let's have a closer look at landing pages and sales funnel to have a bigger picture. In case of antivirus, the funnel is quite short. Creative landing page. The thing is that big brands usually offer ready-made landing pages of high quality. So if your creatives advertise a specific well-known brand and you mention some discounts, no pre-landing is required. The user is already warmed up. One more funnel to try is creative, pre-landing page and landing page. You can go and test a pre-landing page if your creatives include the virus attack thread. In this case, you can apply storytelling and make pre-landing that follows up the scary creative with some statistics on cyber threat or a story of an ordinary user who lost everything as he was too careless and lived without antivirus. Remember that testing is a key to success. Test different funnels, settings and creatives to find and understand your target audience and get conversions. No one will argue the most efficient channel for promoting antiviruses is push ads. They show highest click-through rates and best results. Chadamir, what do you think about this? Well, uh, first of all, when we decide to run uh, AV offers on push, I think uh, there is a couple of steps that we have to do prior to starting campaign. First of all, we have to find the best ad network that's working, that has the best, best traffic sources for AV offers. So, of course, we have plenty of ad networks in the industry, but of course, we have to do our own research and to find which ones have the best converting traffic for AV offers. Uh, like you said at the beginning, we have a lot of verticals and it's important to understand, of course, not to overpay or not to run campaigns on certain traffic sources that are not converting well for this type of vertical. After, of course, we find the 
right network for the AV offers. We have, of course, run certain test campaigns and to see which sources work the best with AV offers. So these two steps are extremely important in order to create the best possible converting campaigns is to find the right network and the right traffic source and then to make a white list or a black list where you will exclude the sources that work or doesn't work the best with the verticals that uh, we are doing. Then uh, we have also a really, really important part uh, communicating with uh, communication with uh, the account managers from certain networks. So let's say here we need to find the right source that have volumes with attractive geo. So if we find the best sources that work with our AV offers, of course, we have to communicate and to see how much of volume and how much scalability we have for certain sources and for certain geos, of course, on certain traffic sources, as, as mentioned. So our recommendation is uh, when we are creating a campaign to be extremely specific and to create campaigns with uh, specific targeting. So when we uh, manage and when we find all of these three steps, uh, the best possible solution is to make a uh, to make specific campaigns for exactly specific targeting. So if we have found the best network and the best sources that work with the AVs, and then we have, of course, research with communication between the, the, the account managers, how much we have of volumes, then we need to make exactly certain campaigns for certain geos, operating geos or countries, operating system browsers, and to whitelist the sources that work the best. In this manner, we will be able to get the most out of every country and every uh, traffic source when it comes to the AV offers, because this gives us scalability and this gives, this gives us uh, <clears throat> the best possible patterns to optimize, to optimize it, to scale up the campaigns. So in order to, in our experience, to be profitable and have the best possible campaigns, you have to uh, get to have more than one dimension when you're optimizing certain campaigns, when you're running AV offers. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy, thanks for your part. And uh, as I have mentioned before, yeah, push has show highs, click through rates and best results, but how to use them efficiently. First of all, choose only premium sources. They show really high conversion rate. It is 61% higher than that of the standard group and has really high quality. When marketers buy push traffic in other networks, they usually get unsorted traffic. This means that they spent a lot of money on tests. Rich Ads was one of the first ad networks that started to sort the traffic into categories according to their performance. That gives our clients an opportunity to start tests with the best sources that named premium ones and get results faster. So start with them. I can say even more, our team makes the freshest white list on subscriber list, publishers and sites from premium group for most converting geos for antivirus vertical. Just contact your manager and he will provide you with them. What concerns uh, targeting options? Stick to desktop, it usually converts better. Surely you can try mobile devices if the offer is aimed at smartphones, for instance, Android safety apps work nice but the safest option is desktop. If you decide to promote mobile offers, focus on the latest Android versions. In, term, in terms of browsers, choose Edge as well as Chrome. The effectiveness depends on the geo. Don't hesitate to test both on them. New subscribers base also works perfectly for antivirus niche. To put it simple, those are users who subscribe to push notifications less than seven days ago. Hint, ask your manager to set hours of subscription to get the freshest audience possible. One more way of increasing efficiency is to set up two campaigns at once, both for usual and new base. This way you will cover two user bases simultaneously and the results will be skyrocketing. Use target CPA algorithm for this vertical. If you are tired of manual optimization, this option is ideal. The algorithm will adjust to your desired cost per action, do micro bidding and create white and black list automatically. Please note that the limit for CPA is $10 per campaign, but there is a hack. Ask your manager to increase the limit to $50 just for your account. The scene is that the payout for antivirus offers is usually impressive, so don't hesitate to apply larger budgets. 
Make sure you test at least the price of 10 conversions. That's the minimum for a test. As a cherry on top, we have a new feature that already showed amazing results for antivirus mm -hmm. offers, performance mode. It provides the most converting and suitable traffic for your campaign settings. Every day, the algorithm updates white and black lists for your campaign to have the maximum conversion rate. This way, it increases campaign's efficiency as known converting sources are quickly turned off and can't spoil your results. You don't even need a tracker to get all of this help. But if you do have a postbox setup, the algorithm will adjust to your desired cost per action. What is more, the traffic is really fresh. The thing is that new sources with high conversion rate automatically turned on in the performance mode campaigns as soon as the effectiveness is proven. Chadami, do you have anything to add about the optimization process for antivirus offers? Thank you, Daria. So uh, we have we would point out a couple of really important optimization tips when it comes to running a campaign. So when we finished researching which network has and where we have the best possible converting sources for the AVs and we start running a campaign, of course, there is four things that we have to optimize uh, in order for our campaign to be extremely successful and profitable. First, we have to optimize sources in alignment with conversions. The second thing, we have to optimize CPCs on the source level and we have to optimize the CPCs on the country level, of course, and testing and optimizing with creatives and landing pages. So the first, the first parameter of optimization is uh, optimizing sources in alignment with conversion. So it's, it's ex everybody can expect that when we run a certain campaign on a, a couple of traffic sources, some of them will convert good and some of them will not convert good. So it's important to create a wide list of sources that work uh, the best in alignment, of course, with how many conversions you're having and in order to be able to scale up your campaigns even more. So if you have uh, if you have 50 sources and then only you have only 10 uh, conversions, uh, only if you have 10 converting sources, then we have to align our campaigns and to choose the sources that are working the best in order to have the best uh, possible working and uh, profitable campaign. The next part is extremely important, and I think it's the, absolutely the biggest challenge in the industry, and it's the balance between the CPCs on the source level and the win rates. As Daria mentioned, this is extremely an extremely competitive industry, and for certain sources, uh, there might be 5, 10, 15, or 20 advertisers that are bidding already for the same source. So let's say we have a plastic example here where we have multiple sources, and some of them uh where of course uh, we had to pay more for conversions some of them we had to pay less for conversions so in this order there is always the need to optimize all the sources on cpc level so meaning that for some clicks and for some sources we can pay less and for some sources and some clicks because our roi is really uh, huge we can pay more for certain sources but there is always the questions of the win rates so what does that mean so if we are not being extremely profitable and then when we reduce the CPCs, as maybe you can see in this picture, when you go and we reduce certain CPCs, then we might be under the risk that some other competitors or will take over the volumes that you are currently getting for the certain campaign. And it's always it has always been a challenge to find the right balance between how much you can pay on CPC basis or cost per click and how much you will win at the end of the day. So not to pay too little because you won't get a lot of volumes, but not to get to pay too high because you won't be profitable. And here it's also important to understand how much volumes there are for certain sources and how much there is potential and what are the requirements from certain traffic source, how much to pay or how much to not, to not pay. But this has been proven the biggest challenge to understand and to find the balance between how much you're paying for certain sources and how much from those sources, actually the total amount of volumes that a certain source has, you're winning. The one also super important tip is to optimize, of course, per, uh, per geo. And that's why we recommend creating uh, specific campaigns for specific countries, because for some countries, maybe for extremely premium sources, one cost per click would be uh, 50 cents. And let's say for the same source for the Great Britain, it would be 25 cents. So that's why it's important to create uh, specific campaigns, specific targeting in order for 
you to be able to optimize in the best possible way and to get the, uh, to get the maximum profitability from every single campaign. And of course, the last part, but not the least, is uh, testing and optimizing with creative landing pages, as we mentioned uh, previously. It's we have to keep testing, we have to be innovative, and we have to give as many incentives as possible to our customers and to understand the audience. And creatives have to be in the language of the speaker, of, of the customer that is visiting your landing pages and that is seeing your creatives. And of course, the landing pages have to be incentive with discounts, with all sorts of different motivational messages on it that will help uh, and motivate a certain customer to purchase an antivirus. So overall, uh, it might sound a little bit complicated. And of course, it's a lot of work always to optimize on a lot of sources and a lot of countries. But when you, know, you get into more details, you can really make your campaigns boost and be extremely profitable at the end of the day. Yeah, I totally agree with you that optimization is really necessary. And if you want to uh, achieve really good results, you need to check uh, how the sources are performing and to change the CPC for them. Okay, and uh, now we are moving to the fascinating part you waited for, flaming hot case studies. I'm going to share a couple of the most successful and useful ones now. The first case was kindly provided by one of our clients. Uh, traffic source for chats, uh, period was two months, and goal app installs. And Geo was India. He targeted only for premium subscriber list, and he used seven creatives. And we helped this client with creatives. And he tested three landing pages. Uh, he tested it for mobile, separate campaigns for and Android and iOS. The targeting was almost the same for both OS, latest versions for iOS and Android. Chrome browser and uh, impressions cap was two impressions and two clicks per user a day. Obviously, for iOS campaign, he used iOS calendar push. Actually, that's great fit for antivirus vertical. The approach to creatives uh, was a classic one, yet converting. For Android, he used variations of system alert and download scenes, signs, Android logos and cautions. For iOS calendar, he applied images and powerful text with alerts and cautions. And what about optimization? Our client had a tracker, so he used two of the best options. He, uh, he tested automated rules and micro bidding. He had two automated rules set up. The first was to blacklist sources that spent more than $1 and had only one conversion for the past two days. And the second one was to blacklist the sources if the CPA is more than $0.8 and conversions are less than two in last two days. After applying automated rules and micro bidding, the results got even better. So our client decided to increase the daily budget and scale both campaigns. And what were the results? Well, they were more than satisfactory and to be specific, uh, total budget was uh, more than uh, $8,000, clicks more than 1 million clicks, uh, CPA cost per install was $0.26 and CPC $0.005. Installs 32,000 more and conversion rate 1.9%. Uh, Initially, his desired CPA was $0.28, so to my mind, the outcome is great. And another case, one more case was also granted to us by our client, and he promoted a classic MacArthur offer and traffic source for chats. He tested this offer for one month, and these statistics will be for one month. Uh, it is push traffic, and goal was sales. And he tested Japan. He tested it for premium subscriber lists. The settings he chose were the best for antivirus promotion. He targeted only new subscribers base, focused on Edge browser and latest uh, Windows versions. What concerns creatives, he applied McAfee logo as it is really well-known brand, as well as uh, used system alerts and warnings. They really proved to be effective. In the text, he implied that antivirus requires an update using notification styles, his examples on the slide. 
And now you might be wondering what he used for optimization. Everything was quite easy. His manager shared the best converting whitelist for Japan, and he just applied them. Also, he made use of micro-bidding on sources to adjust his CPA goal to the desired results. Speaking about the actual results, what did he achieve in the end? Total budget was more than uh, $3,000, clicks um, uh, more than $20,000, CPA uh, $39, CPC $0.18, and conversion rate 1.2. I want to mention that it is the uh, statistics for one month period. Don't be scared by the huge cost per action. This sum is quite nice for antivirus offers as the payouts are huge as well. It is usually about uh, 50 or 60 uh, dollars per conversion depending on geo. I believe the results lived up to our clients' expectations and that was our main goal. And now goes the interactive part that you look forward to, Q&A session. Let me chat. Uh, let me check the questions from the chat, and we will start answer them. Okay, so let's start. I will choose some um, questions. Are you ready, Chadrami? Yep. Okay. Great. Mm. Okay, we have uh, the first question for you. And uh, does Coinis have any community or forum? As for example, Richard has the forum and blog and our advertisers can check our latest news and check what uh, verticals and what geos are on top now. And do you have something like this? Yeah, of course we have are like uh, regular blogs that we are writing with some tips and tricks for the industry and you know what's fresh and what's trending. So we have a coins blog post that we are posting all the time. So uh, we, we can check it on, on of course, coins.com where you can find a lot of interesting stories about the industry, about the trends and everything that's, that's happening and that's trending. Yeah, it is really great when the company can share the latest news and uh, um, people can uh, read something about them before they start to work with them. Okay, the next question. What are the earnings potential in affiliate marketing using push ads with antivirus? Mm, from my point of view, the earnings can be really high here as the payouts for um, antivirus is really huge. So you can um, get really more here and if you find your audience and if you optimize your campaigns correct you can scale them and you will really have it is a really profitable niche and what do you think about it well i think it's it's important to start from somewhere of course at the beginning of course if you have a extremely big budget and it's easy to scale and it's easy to earn a lot more but if you're starting from somewhere like at the beginning at the you know, you have to spend really a lot of time analyzing the data and finding the right traffic sources. But after you find it and after you start converting, of course, your budget for testing will keep increasing. And then I think it's all up to uh, the expectations and how much motivation uh, an advertiser has to increase the budgets and to uh, keep adding new traffic sources. Because, of course, if the volumes are rising, then you, you are spending more money for uh, push notifications. And then, of course, the risk is there, but of course the yield is also higher at the end of the day. So at the beginning, the earnings might not sound spectacular on a couple of conversions, of course, while you're starting, but if you optimize, analyze and find the best possible combination of all the ingredients, if I can say for a certain campaign, then it's easily scalable and you can easily become something of a really attractive, attractive earning method. Yeah, I also think so, and I agree with you. And I also want to mention that it is really necessary to optimize your campaigns. And uh, if you find uh, them widely, that really good works for you, you can um, really scale here well, as we have good volumes for antivirus niche. And the next question, I have not worked with this niche before. Can you tell me what budget I need to start? 
as Chadami mentioned, it is, this antivirus is profitable and um, um, you need to have budget with this niche. As um, CPA is high, payouts are high, and you need to test more to find the audience that works well for you. And you need to find sources, you need to create your own white list that will bring you good results. So from my point of view, um, the budget should be good. It, sh it need be more than $1,000 from my point of view as you need to test more than 10 conversions to understand is the campaign working for you and, and you will start your optimization, you will start with blacklist, you will start with micro bidding and uh, you need to test several approaches, to test several creatives, to test several landing pages without pre-landing page or with direct link. So from my point of view, the budget should be good, but uh, if you find your niche, if you optimize your campaigns correctly and you will scale with it, you can really uh, earn good here. And what do you think? What is the minimum budget to start with this niche? Well, in my opinion, uh, I think uh, this niche and AVs is probably one of the few verticals that really need to have a really decent budget when it's starting. Uh, why? Do we think it's important to have a, a, a bigger budget is because this is extremely competitive. And as you said previously, the payouts are really high, which means that the cost per clicks for a certain push ad is also really high. I think we mentioned somewhere in the presentation that for some premium sources it goes to 50, 60 cents per certain click, which means that in order for somebody to get into this market and to start uh, start targeting this niche on certain sources, there has to be a certain risk, of course. The yields and what you can get back in return in long run, it's really extremely good and the ROIs are amazing since the payouts are so high. But at the beginning, there has to be at least some testing budget. If you can have a really uh, great communication, maybe uh, some, I know, mi minimum testing between 500 and 1,000 would be probably the best in order to test everything and to see where you have conversions or not. Why this budget is so high is because it's extremely competitive and you have to pay probably a lot for the premium countries and the premium. Maybe in researching how the industry works and how this niche works in other uh, geos that are maybe, if I can say, not cheaper, but where the CPCs are lower, maybe you can do it with uh, smaller budget but if uh, somebody's targeting Taiwan geos where the competitiveness is extremely high well that's uh, where you need to have a bigger budget mm -hmm. yeah I totally agree okay the next question is I want to collect the viewers contact in the such as first name and email can I have an option option page where the viewers can choose to option first and then be directed to the offer page uh, yes, we have uh, this opportunity and as I know that uh, our clients did it and they did it for a gambling niche and they have uh, more profit from, from it and uh, then they sent another offers in, the, in these emails. So yeah, it is possible. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. uh, should I use landing and pre-landing pages or it isn't necessary. Maybe let's start with you. What do you think yeah, about yeah. it? Uh, so for some person, for some traffic sources, uh, while we were testing, it has proven that sometimes going directly to the landing page has been uh, successful and uh, more converting. But what's important to understand is that also if you're looking, if you're using a pre-lender or you're going directly to the landing page, it depends on the offer and how the advertiser or where you are getting the offer from is allowing if somebody has a, a compliance thing that you can send directly to the landing page, then you have to use a pre-lender, which sometimes might be good if maybe the traffic sources are, are not the best or if somebody wants to filter out stuff like the previous question about the name and collecting stuff, because that's something of like a human behavior. But pre-lenders has been proven to work good on some sources. On some sources, it's also directly going to the landing page. But as I said, uh, both formulas are successful and they should always be A-B tested. And if they are allowed, depending on the offer that you're running. 
Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, and we mentioned that yeah, two uh, options are possible. You can test in the landing page and without the landing page and to direct offer. Um, yeah, you need to test and A-B test will be a really good option for you. And what else? Um, I want to mention here that McCarthy offers show good results on the platform now. And uh, from our experience, I, um, I saw that some um, advertisers didn't use the landing page, but you need to test both as it is all about testing and it is a key to success. Okay, which use would you advise for people with unlimited ad budget? From my point of view, it is from uh, your presentation and from our presentation. And if you have a and if you have opportunity and if you have budget, you need to test uh, these geos that Chadami showed us and that I told that are good. It is the USA, uh, Canada, Great Britain, France, Germany, Australia, and Netherlands. Yeah, competition is high here, but if you have unlimited budget, you have opportunity to set up uh, a high CPC and have uh, the traffic from uh, really good sites, from really good publishers, and uh, uh, you can compete in the auction. So you will really have good results here. Can newcomers try to work with this vertical or it is only for experienced users? What do you think about it, Chadome? Well, I think uh, uh, for everyone that's starting in this vertical and uh, in this niche, uh, it's important to put a lot of effort into the data. I wouldn't say it's only for experienced advertisers or media buyers. I would say this niche can be, or people can work on this niche but it's important at the beginning to understand how many layers of optimization and of data you need to analyze at the beginning. So it's not just simple, go to a certain ad network and create a campaign. When you create a campaign, you have a different geos in one source, then you have different browsers in one source, then you have uh, different. So there's a lot of layers of, of the optimization. So I think everybody that's starting, maybe uh, starting with uh, smaller budget with some uh, countries that are not super expensive where they can see how the data looks like how to analyze the data how to optimize and how the entire process from okay i created a campaign this is my creative this is my landing page okay and now i got the conversion let's see what was successful so what i did right and what i did wrong in order to get the winning formula so i don't think it's only for the experience the experienced media buyers and the advertisers of course they can enter this vertical a lot faster, probably because also if, if they have bigger budgets, but I wouldn't exclude this for anyone that's starting or that doesn't have any experience in this vertical because it's pretty intuitive when you get used to the data and how you optimize it. Yeah, I also agree with you. And um, yeah, maybe something that it is, this niche only is only for experienced advertisers, but um, it depends yeah, on your skills, on your analyze, but it's all about budgets. Budgets. If you have if you have budgets and uh, um, you understand how it works, you understand the audience. Uh, you can always ask uh, your account managers. You can always ask your managers to help you with it, to tell more features, to tell more options and targeting that will be good for your offer. So managers always uh, can help you and tell you what will be the better. Um, but yeah, it is all about budgets and you need to understand that um, you don't um, buy only the traffic, you buy the statistics and you should, um, you need to work with it. Uh, okay, let's go to next question. Okay, let's talk now about creatives. Uh, Chatterman, the creatives with moderately, aggra moderately aggressive approaches in the text, they have the highest CTR in the niche or not? Sorry, I didn't. Uh, do they have the highest CTR or not? <coughs> yeah, sorry. From about what we have been... aggressive. Okay, so what, what we have been testing uh, actually, it depends literally from source to source that we are testing. So let's say for some sources, some moderate and some 
uh, simple, not aggressive creatives are working the best as the offer that we have shown that has been extremely successful here with our media buying team. But for some sources, and of course it depends where the end user is coming from, uh, some moderate aggression has proven to be better. So again, it depends from source to source. It depends what statistics are. Sometimes moderate aggression can be and brings higher CTR, but sometimes also cleaner creatives are bringing uh depending on the audience that you're targeting they're bringing also also pretty decent ctr so i would say depending from source to source it depends of how much maybe some users are you know not responding well to moderate aggression maybe they are responding well to completely clean creative so i would say it depends on the of course again like i said the rotation and a b testing of the sources all the time mm -hmm. yeah Okay, and let's move to another question. What is the recommended minimum budget for the antivirus in USA market? Mm, from my point of view, it's also about to test 10 conversions at least. Um, it is difficult to say what is um, CPA should be here. It depends. Um, is it um, directed with... Um, um, if you have this offer from direct advertiser or from affiliate program, but um, from my point of view, you need to test at least five hundred dollars, something like that. And what do you think about it? Yeah, I agree. For a certain geo, you have to test at least to see all the sources, at least, especially for a geo that's this expensive, because uh, when you're optimizing and when you're testing, if your CPC is too low and the other competitors are buying extremely premium sources uh, already whitelisted, then you have to communicate with the, uh, with the uh, account manager that you're buying from. Because at the end of the day, if you're paying a certain budget, and then if you have, of course, if you are not familiar with how much you should pay for the best sources that are converting with the AVs, then you might end up with buying certain traffic that's even not working the best. So it's important to have a decent budget for this expensive expensive if i can say like that geos i would say around also 500 dollars uh, maybe less but still it depends of how much of the volume you will get from which network and from which source but i think that's a reasonable budget to test on a uh, on a on a country that's a bit more expensive it's like in the united states yeah i also want to mention that united states uh, really is expensive as um, is competitive yeah, and um, I also want to say that it will be good if you have opportunity to test, um, to have split test to browsers, Edge and Chrome. Uh, it will be better to have two separate campaigns for it, um, as uh, browsers have uh, um, different results in different geos, and um, brow um, Chrome and Edge have the best results for USA. So don't hesitate to try all of these browsers. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it better to run uh, antiviruses for a direct advertiser on an affiliate network? Yes, we told before, it will be better if you have opportunity to run it from a direct advertiser, the payouts will be high here. So it will be better in this case. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I will find a new question. Okay, Chadrami, is it true that launching ads for antivirus in the USA is more profitable for iOS users? What do you think about it? For iOS users, is mm -hmm. it more profitable for the advertisers running campaigns or just for, I'm not sure if I understand it properly. Yeah. Is it true that launching ads for antivirus in the USA is more profitable for iOS users? I think, yeah, it is. Uh, maybe it, um, it well, can be in my, Well, in my opinion, it, uh, first of all, it depends on the type of offer and, and the, mm -hmm. uh, how big your payout is, depending on the offer, if it's from affiliate network, direct advertising, etc. And, of course, the other thing is depends on... Uh, how much you can optimize what type of traffic sources you can find. Some traffic sources, I know for a fact, for let's say edge traffic for US are extremely expensive. And if you would compare those sources to IO sources, then of course it will be more profitable running the IO sources. But at the end of the day, it depends on 
how big your payout it is, and how much you're spending in order to get to the conversion. Maybe maybe some advertiser at his experience fund needs twenty dollars to get to a conversion. Maybe somebody needs fifty. So it depends again on how much you're optimizing and. I do believe it can be profitable equally depending on how good you are at optimizing your campaigns. I wouldn't give an edge opportunity, let's say for, I wouldn't say I is more profitable. Uh, I would say volumes wise, you have a lot more when it comes to uh, desktop users and Chrome and Edge in terms of volumes and optimization. But again, it depends from person to person how much experience they have to, in order how much budgets they have to buy the big sources that are bringing conversions in. Yeah, uh, got you, yeah. And uh, if we're talking about McAfee, for example, as an offer, uh, from my point of view, uh, it's better to start with the uh, Windows and here test these two browsers. And here, then if you have opportunity to test uh, yours too, um, we have traffic for you, so we can provide it. And if we're talking about mobile, uh, mobile offers, so yeah, you can also test yours and we can provide calendar traffic and we also provide in page traffic. Okay, I heard that push traffic is the best option for antiviruses, but what can you say about POPs? Mm. Uh, yeah, Let's start I with you and I will yeah, continue. Uh, so uh, push traffic has proven to uh, work currently the best for AVs, but I wouldn't exclude also POPs traffic. We have we have analyzed and seen some trends that uh, some advertisers have been running uh, AV offers directly on POP traffic. Uh, it works good, but I would say volumes wise and in the long run, it's uh, better to run them on push on classic push traffic, but POPs is also not excluded as it works. And uh, I would also recommend for advertisers to try working on it, of course, in in the compliance with the networks that uh, people are running, advertisers are running, of course, because it's kind of a different flow. There are no creatives, so POPs is, works a bit differently. So I think the prices and the CPAs will also be different and POP kind of differs of how you pay and how you optimize. So I would also, I wouldn't exclude the uh, opportunity to buy it from uh, POP traffic and I, I think it works, but I think push is a lot easier and safer ground to optimize. Yeah, I get your point and I totally agree with you, right, that um, you don't need to exclude pop traffic as it also can work for you. But from our side, we will also recommend you to start with push uh, as we have uh, a lot of statistics and we, uh, we can help you and we can provide you best geos, best whitelist from our side. And it is more easier from my side, as I know, it is more easier yet to optimize it. Uh, okay, and we have a question about um, Japan. Um, we have question source for Japan. Uh, as I understand, uh, maybe it is also a question about traffic uh, type. Um, I can, for Japan, I would recommend you to start with push, and uh, Japan is also uh, our main uh, geos for antivirus, and um, we can prepare and uh, give you a really good whitelist for these geos. For this geo and for this geo i also will recommend you to test uh, in split um, um, chrome and edge and um, from my last experience when i'm working with advertisers um, edge show really good results but you don't need to exclude chrome and you need to test both in split campaigns and what do you think about japan how results um, show this geo well, for this geo, for this exact vertical and niche like AVs, it has proven to be really good. Uh, dividing the campaigns per browser extremely important uh, because the uh, CPCs and the CPAs differ on both browsers and uh, it's proven to be a really, really uh, profitable geo in the long run. So I think that, uh, of course, AVs should be uh, that uh, the AV vertical is really, uh, really uh, attractive for uh, Japan, but also I wouldn't exclude testing other type of offers, of course, at the end of the day for Japan, because it has proven that other verticals also are working good, so. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you so much for your answer. And um, we will now answer the last question, which was the last question for today. And um, one minute. Uh, uh, what, can I ask 
Okay, uh, we talk more about desktop traffic, so let's discuss now mobile. And we have a question. What can you advise me if I focus more on mobile users than desktop? Okay, uh, if we are talking about mobile traffic, sure, it will be, uh, CPA will be cheaper here, and uh, you can uh, start with uh, lower budgets. And uh, from our side, uh, we really recommend you to set up post back. And um, we have a lot of uh, really good features that will help you with optimization. For example, target CPA, uh, for example, uh, performance mode. I told you all about this option. And um, if we are talking about uh, antivirus for mobiles, yes, yeah, CPA is slow here. It can be uh, 0 0.26, for example, as we um, saw the case before. And um, if you don't have a lot of time to op optimize your campaigns, uh, you can create target CPA campaign, only set up uh, CPA goals that you would like to achieve. And uh, our system will do all optimization for you. It will add uh, black and white list and add micro in your campaign. And what do you think about uh, antiviruses for mobiles? I think it's an attractive market and we do see potential in it, of course. But I would say that the incentives and how do people see ads for AVs on mobile and desktop are completely different. And the type of ads, of course, that you uh, have to use and how to motivate people to purchase an AV for mobile and desktop, it's a bit different. So I would say there is a lot of potential. Uh, we see the potential. We are also working on, on mobile, but uh, it's a bit different. And of course, it depends on the type of offer that you're running, if it's a CPA or any other type of uh, form that your advertiser is providing you. So uh, lower budgets, uh, for sure, a market that's easier to analyze and to research since the budgets that you need for desktop are a lot higher. So I would say it's also a, a nice starting point to understand. But I would look at uh, mobile AV, a vertical and desktop AV verticals is something completely different that you have to focus on both in a, a bit different way. Yeah, got you and I understand. Uh, Chedomi, thank you a lot for the Q&A session and for this webinar. Thank you a lot and I'm really happy that you joined us today. I was really glad to see you there. So, let's, um, before we finish, I'd like to announce bonuses. Rich Ads gives a special bonus only for the webinar viewers, a 10% bonus to the first deposit to all new advertisers at Rich Ads that will register after the webinar. Use the promo code ANTIVIRUS22. Contact guys from Coinis to get exclusive offers and deals. Don't worry if you didn't write down or make screenshots of speakers' emails and so on. We will spend you, send you all the information and contacts with the webinar recording tomorrow. Please check your email. We are always glad to answer your questions and exchange opinions. Thanks a lot for being with us today. We plan our next event for the 20th of October. We are going to have an onboarding webinar about pop ads. Don't miss it. Get all the latest updates about our webinars from our Telegram channel. Find the link in the chat. Subscribe to our YouTube channel below and click the bell icon not to miss new videos. Look forward to meeting you at our next webinar. Bye-bye and see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.